Hey, what's up, Young Adults family? It's Michaela, and I'm going to be doing episode two this week. And um, whenever I was asked to do this, I kind of thought, you know, about the word wonder. And this is W-O-N-D-E-R, not W-A-N, big difference. But um, I wanted to kind of talk to you about the word wonder. And the question that I want to leave with today is, um, have you lost your sense of wonder with God? And so I'm reading this book called The Quest. Great book. 10 out of 10 recommend. And uh, it talked about the word wonder. And it gave a brilliant definition of it. It said, wonder is faith caught in a momentary burst of imagination. And whenever I saw that, man, I got out my highlighter and my pencil and I underlined that sucker. I said, that is good. Yes. And so I kind of, you know, the word wonder stuck out and I started to dive a little bit more into it. And, you know... I feel like as young adults or whatever age you may be, as we get older, you know, we start to just create these to-do lists. We got jobs to do. We got bills to pay. I understand. But we're checkmarking all these things off and we just start to kind of lose this sense of wonder of God, you know, like a child. The Bible always talks about how to childlike faith. And I think we also need to have a childlike sense of wonder when it comes to God as well, because God's constantly working things around us and he's constantly working for our good. And, but we kind of just grow numb to it and uh, we lose our sense of wonder with it or like our awe-inspiring, you know, like speechless moments with God. We kind of lose them as we get older because we just, you know, life happens, which is understandable. But uh, I want to point out a scripture that's Genesis twenty-eight sixteen, and it's talking about Jacob. He's just woken from sleep and this is what he says. Jacob woke from his sleep in wonder saying, God is in this place truly, and I didn't even know it. He was terrified. He whispered in awe, incredible, wonderful, holy. And I just, this stuck out to me a lot because, you know, this is how wonder works. You know, whenever we are opened up to it and we do have our spiritual eyes open and we see what God is doing, we are like truly just awestruck and inspired and speechless. And it goes here to say, you know, Jacob was terrified, you know, because truly sometimes being in wonder, you get a little bit scared, but then he followed it immediately with, he whispered in awe. And that's what I want to point out to you is that Jacob was in complete awe and he talked and then he just started naming adjectives of God, like incredible, wonderful, holy. And so I just want to ask you, you know, like, and make you think about when was the last time where you just sat in wonder of God? And you truly just kind of, you know, like talk to yourself about all the things that God is like Jacob did in this scripture. And, you know, it reminds me of the song uh, that Bethel does called May We Never Lose Our Wonder. Again, 10 out of 10 recommend. But it talks about, you know, uh, may we never lose our wonder. And it talks about wide eyed and mystified. May we be just like a child staring at the beauty of a king. And I think it's so cool, you know, that we always kind of relate wonder to children and all that. I just imagine a kid walking into Toys R Us and just being like gone, just slaved and everything else. And, but it's so true, wide eyed, you know, how many times do we have our eyes open and you know, like, but they're not actually, they're kind of in a daze. So they're open, but they're not being intentional. You know, like when you make awkward eye contact with the person from across the room because you're out of it, but your eyes are open. And so I think about like that spiritually with our eyes. How many times are we just like going about our day and our spiritual eyes are just in the days completely. And there's all these amazing things going on. Just like Jacob, he was wide eyed whenever he woke up and he saw all this and was left in awe. And so that's whenever the song talks about wide eyed and mystified, I'm just reminded, you know, like, okay, Michaela, like keep your eyes open and ready to see what God has for you today. And then it goes on to talk about you are beautiful, you're glorious, you're beautiful in all of these ways. And so I want to encourage you, you know, like if you feel like you've lost a sense of wonder with God, it's really not that hard to get back. You literally can walk outside and look at the sunset and be reminded of that wonder and that awe of God. Because never lose your wonder because then God can continue to use you to work wonders. Okay, yeah, you can take that home with you. But yeah, truly, you know, and the beautiful thing about God is that they, there's, we'll never know everything about him. So no matter how much you dive and hope, no matter how much you, you know, still search out, which is all great things, you'll never know everything. So you can truly always keep that sense of wonder if we're just intentional about it. 
And so, yeah, you know, never lose your wonder, you guys. God is incredible. Go look at a sunset tonight, unless it's cloudy. But if you do find a sunset, go watch it. And um, truly just search out for the ways that God is working wonders in your life. And just sit and bask in that because he's doing it because he loves you. So I hope you guys have a great week. God loves you. I love you. High Street loves you. Um, yeah, have a good day.